Well, g'day, fish O's. Frank from Tackerworld Port Stevens with another weekly fish report. This weekend's looking a little bit better than last weekend. Uh, the swell was up last weekend, so was the rain, so was everything. It was cold, it was miserable. This weekend looks slightly better. Uh, I think we'll get over this little bit of a westerly. I think Saturday afternoon into Sunday looking really good. And believe it or not, the fishing's good too. So we'll start within the bay. Plenty of brim around at the moment. Uh, they started to congregate in their spawning cycle. A little bit late this year. It's probably due to the rain that we had earlier in the year. Uh, I spoke to Paul off Fishport Stevens Estuary Charters. He's been putting his customers onto some really nice brim. Blokes have never thrown a soft plastic into the rock walls of catching brim. So there you go. So there must be plenty there. Uh, the shortcut wall has been fishing really well. Up towards Tea Gardens Bridge has been fishing well, really well for brim. Those rock walls there. And then back towards Soldiers Point, front of Fame Cove, back into North Arm Cove, and even up towards Garden Island there at Karoo has been fishing really well for brim. The racks behind Soldiers Point uh, have been fishing exceptionally well for bigger fish as well. So some really nice brim around at the moment. You'd expect that with the beginning of winter, that that annual brim run is upon us. So brim action galore. If you're in the tinny, in the boat, get out there and throw some lures around. I spoke to Harley. He's been tossing around some small hard bodies in around the racks been doing really well like that as well. So plenty of brim around. If you're shore based, I'd suggest any of the rock walls, Wanda Headland, the Anchorage, Nelson Bay rock wall, all fishing and producing pretty well on the brim. Uh, you would have seen we put a nice photo up of Luke catching a cracking brim down off the Anchorage break wall on our local fresh prawns. So plenty of brim down there. I heard a whisper too that one of our staff members might have nailed a nice 80 centimetre Lizard down there, so there you go. Some some big uh, flatties still hanging around, albeit being winter, the water being cold. There are some flatties around at the moment. The break wall at Nelson Bay, we can imagine it's standing room only. Two reasons. There's Ludrick galore down there. Uh, so it's pick a rock, any rock, but you'll catch Ludrick on those tide changes. There's also been some really nice brim. And uh, Rob actually nailed a really nice snapper down there. I saw it, uh, about two and a half kilos. So not bad on brim gear, so... Some good fish down at the break wall at the moment. So that's a bit of a, I guess, an introduction to what's happening in the bay this week. And I think this weekend it'll be pretty good out there, especially Sunday. Now, moving on to the beaches. Not much to report on the beaches, unfortunately, with that swell. But this weekend looks really good. Uh, I suggest there'll be a lot of brim on the beaches this weekend. A few salmon kicking about. So there's plenty of salmon around in those gutters. Uh, I knew there was a big school down at Samurai early in the week on Wednesday, Thursday, that swell backed off. There was quite a big school down that way as well. Uh, some good tailor around the beaches at the moment. Uh, and just before that swell, there was plenty of good tailor off the rocks. Did hear one long tail caught at Boat Harbour this week. Uh, so longies are still about. And like I said, they'll be right through to winter until that water really backs off to about 16, 17 degrees. At the moment, it's about 20 degrees. So it'll hold long tails, no problems at all. Plenty of bread and butter species. Uh, likewise with the beach, there's plenty of room in the washes and the drama and Ludrick has certainly come on pretty strong there. Plenty of Ludrick down on Cemetery Point there and a bay at the moment. So beach and rock fishing, I reckon, will be pretty good this week. There'll be a little bit of swell, uh, but I think Sunday and the tides at the moment are ideal for doing some rock fishing. So if you're keen on catching some drama, even maybe some snapper after that big swell, definitely worth a shot off the ocean rocks this weekend. Now, looking at the offshore scene, a few guys got out uh, during the week, took advantage of that better weather Wednesday, Thursday, and there were some nice snapper caught, that's for sure. I spoke to Jamie. He actually got some nice ones uh, up towards Edith Breaker there on soft plastics, fish up to around six kilos. So that time of year, this time of year, I should say, it is getting to where the better snapper are going to be on the shallow reefs and uh, the soft plastics will come into their own. Uh, if you're keen on a burly session, it'd be ideal to get up early or late, fish that late afternoon and do a burly session. Arm way to baits down a burly trail, you'll get some really nice snapper at this time of year. You know, further out, haven't heard of any yellowfin, that's because no one's been out there. Uh, down off Sydney, there's been a good, good uh, run of yellowfin the last two days. Uh, we've just got to hope that the current and the altimetry sort of change position and we get a bit of a crack at them. So we'll just keep an eye on those water temps at the moment. On the shelf, a couple of boys there on the shelf yesterday having a bit of a shark fish. Young Cooper actually weighed a nice tiger last night for a junior, 346 kilos, so that's an absolute cracker. So water out on the shelf is still around about 21 and a half degrees or here, so it'd be striped marlin out there for sure if you want to keen to go and catch a winter striped marlin. Anyway, that's it for this week. It looks pretty good this weekend. It looks fishable at least, uh, both inshore, offshore, off the rocks, wherever. So get amongst it and we'll talk next week.